another loss. Um, I'm just gonna start off. Uh, Fire Pete Carmichael. I'm just let's just let's just get that out of the way here. Fire Pete Carmichael. We're just we're all we're all in agreement there. Get it? Got it? Good. So my problem with the New Orleans Saints in this game, this was a prime example of. If you've seen Letter Kenny, you might know what I'm about to say. The team doesn't love to win. It's the the problem is that they. It's not that they don't love to win. It's that they don't hate losing. This team doesn't hate to lose. You'd say the players don't like to lose. I would say that. I would sit here and say the players are the only thing about this team that are making this a somewhat functioning group. I mean, the coaching is just atrocious. The coaching decisions are awful. The play calling is just straight up bad. I mean, you're within 10. You're inside the 15. You're in the red zone. And you have Alvin Kamara run a flat. And you're going to dump it on fourth and four to Kamara instead of trying to get the first down. Why are we not putting people where the yard marker is? Why are we not putting people in the end zone? Why are we still continuing to make bad play calls? Why is this football team just so bad? It's not the players. It's the coaches. Players want to play. Players want to win. The coaches don't hate to lose. This football team... Let me say that again very clearly. They don't hate to lose. And what do I mean by that? I mean this team, they don't go into halftime saying, just scratch everything, figure it out, and fix it. They don't make adjustments. Make bad play calls. Poor execution. Stupid penalties. Lack of discipline. I mean the Saints today, seven penalties for 83 yards. Like, what are, you, what are you supposed to do? What are you supposed to do there? What could you possibly think could make any sense there? So, like, you know, pros and cons, I guess you could say it. Um, the Saints got C.J. Stroud's first interception. But you know what happened? It's really crazy when you think about it. Zach Bond caught it. So shout out Zach Bond. But you know what he didn't do? Hold on to the ball. He fumbled it. So CJ Stroud's first interception, it's crazy. It's really crazy. Uh, it was a gain. It was a positive yardage for Houston. You can't make it up. Like, this is the most New Orleans Saints thing ever. You can't make it up. Shout out to everyone subscribing because they want to fire Pete Carmichael just as much as I do. And I said it on Twitter. I was tweeting out highlights. I was tweeting out my opinions. I was getting angry. I said it on Twitter. I said, hey. If this team wants to win, they got to fire Pete Carmichael. I mean, you're not going to do anything if you just keep trying the same thing over and over and over again and expecting different results. That's called being insane. People get put into mental institutions for that kind of thing. People get medical help for that kind of thing. Meanwhile, we're over here paying that kind of thing to call plays. And you have guys like Ronald Curry, who called an amazing preseason, and you're not even going to try. Dennis Allen, just weeks ago, said, we're not going to make any changes. There's no, ne there's no need. We're not going to do it. Oh, my God. Like, I, I, I posted this on my Twitter, and, I, and I may, I'm living by this. I'm going on a hunger strike. And until the New Orleans Saints fire Pete Carmichael, I'm not eating. It's on you, Gail Benson. It's on you, Mickey Loomis. It's on you, Dennis Allen. Make a change. And I'm not saying let, 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 let uh, uh, somebody else call the different plays. That's not what I'm saying. What I am saying, though, is get rid of them. Like, don't even let them back in the facilities. Y'all remember that clip from Hard Knocks? Oh, he tried to come in. Oh, man, they cut me already? Do it to Pete. Like, there's nothing. <laughs> this team sucks, man. This coaching staff is so sorry. And it's just embarrassing. But you know it's not embarrassing. They're awesome sponsor prize picks. And they are just a stellar group and an amazing app. And I had a lot of fun today using the prize picks app. So I'm super excited to tell you about what they are. It's the largest independently owned daily fantasy sports platform in North America. And it's the easiest and most exciting way to play DFS. It's just you against the numbers. 
So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS for a first deposit match up to $100. Set of battling versus thousands of players, including pros, sharks, and all sorts of other people. You just select two more players, and it's you versus the numbers. So go to prizepicks.com slash CLNS and use code CLNS um, for a first deposit match up to $100. It's daily fantasy sports made easy. All right, so I do want to give some shout-outs to people who did play really well today. Um, Rashid Shahid, credit where it's due, he did have a pretty solid day. Had an insane catch. I mean, climb the ladder, grown man catch. Um, I get late in the game to try and give the cha- Saints a chance. Blake Groupie missed the field goal. Blake Groupie was not good today. Um, nor was nor nor, nor was <laughs> any part of the team, to be quite honest. Defense, they got ran all over. It took, it was a, I mean, it just was too little too late for the most part. Second half, they played well, but I mean, in terms of, <laughs> in terms of just like stats, like, Chris Olave, 7 for 96. Rashid Shahid, two catches for 85 and a touchdown. Look what happens when you put the ball in his hands, man. Why are we not? Ta- he was targeted six times. Why are you not giving him the ball more? He rushed for 18 yards on two attempts. He had a lo- the longest rush of the day was 12 for him, which was the second longest rush of the day for the Saints. Alvin Kamara had 13. In terms of defensive players, Marshawn Lattimore honestly didn't look amazing. Like He, he did all right, not great. Um, this team just doesn't hate to lose. There's no, there's no way around it. There's no way to describe it. Pete Werner, he had another decently good day. Demario Davis led the um, defense. Carl Granderson, big time props to him. Came up with a sack, two tackles for a loss, six total tackles. I think the Saints absolutely nailed paying him and keeping him around. They, the Saints should keep him around for as long as they possibly can. He's a really good football player who I think could realistically replace uh, Cameron Jordan long term. Is Cameron Jordan does have, you know, he's getting old. He's not playing bad, but eventually you're not going to have wham, bam, thank you, Cam, on your team anymore. Um, man, it's just, it stinks. In terms of injuries, I mean, James Hurst got re hurt. Ryan Ramchek has a concussion. Trevor Penning went in and had to play. Like, this team. This is like this, today was the worst case scenario that could have happened for the New Orleans Saints, and unfortunately, we have to live through it. Um, you can't win. You can't win if you aren't playing well on all three sides of the ball. I mean, there was penalty issues. There's play calling problems, execution problems. I, I mean, I don't know how else to keep saying it. This team does not love or does not. They don't. It's not that they don't love to lose. It's that they don't hate winning. Or other way around. You know what I mean. Point being, I'm just so annoyed with this team. Um, you do have Thursday night football coming up against Trevor Lawrence and the Jacksonville Jaguars. So it's a quick turnaround. A lot of guys are not going to be able to play. I expect the injury report to be pretty busy. I'm going to be honest. So, I mean, at the, at the end of the day, the best thing we can do here is just brush it off, <laughs> try again next week and see what happens. But, I mean, it just stinks, man. It just stinks. So, <sighs> I, I wish I wish I had, came here with some good news. I wish that I could come here and show you guys. Oh look, we're doing. We're, we had a great week. Or we're we're gonna be okay. It's all gonna be all right. It's all gonna be hunk of dory, no matter what. We're this team is gonna be all right. But it's not. Um, it be like that. What are you gonna do? Um, Saints lose twenty to thirteen. Got to bounce back next week. Got to play smart. Can't can't lose at home. I'll tell you that. Can't lose at home. In prime time. Because if you do, that's going to be really hurtful to your season. Dennis Allen, for the first time this, you know, this season, right, not the first time, but he had a winning record for the first time in his career. Had it, lost it, had it, lost it, had it. I lost it again. I mean, it, this team's sorry. The coaching staff stinks. And I love this football team too much to continue to just be okay and with, with mediocrity. So I'm not. I, I wish that they can. I hope that they can figure it out. I hope that they can do something here. But at the end of the day, there's not a lot that you can say about this game. It was ugly. It was disgusting. We're gonna do, really dive into this all throughout the week, um, especially tomorrow. So I encourage you to subscribe, turn on your notifications. That way you don't miss anything. But Saints fans, 13 to 20 stinks. You had it within your grasp a couple different times, and unfortunately, 
does not go your way today. So we're going to hop on out of here. It's, it sucks. I'm really sorry about it, y'all. I wish that, you know, I wish this team loved you as much as I did because I love all of you. Um, and we're going to get through this together. We survived Andy Dalton. We're going to survive this too. May not be easy, but we're at least going to try. We're at least going to try. So on top of that, Saints fans, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I hope you guys tune in throughout the week and can uh, can help us bring some good vibes to this team because God knows they need it. But in other words, shout out to Chalupa being our Super Chat MVP. You will be getting our F Texans, F Houston Cowboy hat. Anybody who is a Super Chat or supporter of the show gets on here. Chalupa, you won it with that $100 Super Chat. We'll get that in the mail for you ASAP. As always, Saints fans, it hurts, it stinks, but y'all stay golden. See you next week. Thank you.